What's going on guys? Zuko back with another Dragonflate video. Hope you're all doing really well. Um, Guild's been having a lot of fun the past couple weeks pushing into Mythic raiding actually and uh, just trying out some of the early bosses and I want to talk about Aranog today. We've done Aranog and the Primal Council this week which was really good. We were working on Taros as well. The first uh, boss in Mythic, which is Aranog, of course, is actually like easier than probably the last four bosses on Heroic. Like, realistic. Maybe the last two, at least. Plus, Dathia is a little bit tougher on Heroic as well. So, like, those three. So, what Blizzard tends to do with the first bosses of every raid on Mythic, like, is that they're... The mechanics in the boss fight are, like, literally nothing on normal, almost nothing on heroic. And then once you get to mythic, a flip switches, and suddenly the fight becomes, like, a real fight where it actually has challenges. So if you've never done the fight, I would encourage you to do so. The loot is incredibly good. Of course, there's the ring, which is insanely strong, right? Dealing fire damage is a chance to ignite your enemies. This ring is so good if you can get it, and there's lots of other good gear on the first boss as well. And if you're doing it on mythic, it's, like, 415 item level. 421 on the ring actually so super super strong um really good stuff so what's different on mythic aranog the biggest thing you want to think about look at heroic when he spawns an ad he spawns a flame scale terrace on heroic and then there's army of the flame is just regular when you flip it to mythic he now spawns a flame scale Terrigan says on mythic he spawns a flame scale captain as well that's the captain right here this captain does a um burn damage over time on multiple enemies that needs to be uh dispelled by the healers and does a kickable pyroblast that will literally nuke somebody 100 to 0 does 963,000 damage so it'll kill somebody so you have to interrupt it and healers have to dispel that's the main first thing number one number two the army of flame the big dudes that go on the outside and work their way in and try to kill you there's now two rings of them there's one on the outside and there's one on the inside and i'm going to show you that in the dungeon footage right here uh the raid footage sorry but i just want to do uh, explain the two major differences there it's that there's a new captain that you have to deal with and that there's two rings of the army so let's jump into the footage and check it out here okay so we're into it here this is the beginning of the aranog fight this is on mythic of course and um i'm just gonna walk you through how some of the mechanics go so there's not a whole lot different here you do also i think dropping off the um the fire now the when the ad spawn it'll leave a patch on the ground so he also just does a lot more damage, which has to be healed up, which isn't really a big deal. Here comes the first flame rifts. These need to be placed in a particular spot, and we weren't doing a very good job of it, but they leave fire on the ground. And then here comes the adds. There's the new Captain Ad right there. He's casting Pyroblast right now. You can see that. He needs to get kicked right now. So somebody, I think I kick him actually. Yep, there we go. Make sure we kick that Pyroblast. Somebody else needs to kick him uh, later. But that, that guy needs to be dealt. Now he's casting Erupting Flames. Watch the raid frames. He's going to put a bunch of dots on all the allies here. There we go. Jack, uh, Sarah, uh, Laura, Nicaro. But there's like two, four, six, seven of them, right? Quite a few there. So ideally, if you have a priest, you can just mass dispel these. It's really efficient to do it that way. But if you don't have a priest, then you have to get your healers to individually dispel people to get rid of this. That's really important. We weren't even dealing with it, but you can see the people who have the debuffs start getting chunked pretty hard if you're not careful. I think Asterial does mass us all. Or no, I think a couple of people just dispel right there, which is really good. So very important that you do that. We, we do it later in the fight, and we kind of forget to do it there. But there are some serious checks there. You can see people are getting wrecked right now. You have to be a little bit careful. Sal ends up going down. He gets hit by something. There's the Pyroblast that has to be kicked again. I got that Pyroblast up here. The damage is going quite high, and you can see we're leaving b uh, big pools behind us. So you want to just keep moving the boss in whichever direction you want to move the boss. It doesn't matter to you, but you can't go backwards, basically, right? So just keep moving forwards, and you're going to keep spawning the ads. Whenever the ads, see, the ads are coming right now. We want to move the boss forward a little bit and make spawn all the ads next to the fire. That's what you kind of want to do. So I'm trying to line this up right next to the fire. And this is about the best we can do. That's not terrible, but I could have done better there for sure. And we keep going. And then there's the captain again. Pyroblast one more time. Now, here's the really difficult part. What we're used to is this line of guys that's spawning on the outside part of the room. But there's also a line on the inside of the room coming towards us. Okay. So I'm calling for the dispels there. Finally, get rid of them. DPS need to take this out. So now you're getting encroached on from two different angles here. Look at them coming in from the middle. This gets pretty tight. 
but th thankfully we had enough DPS, we burned it down. But that, if you didn't have enough DPS, that would get really tight. So that is the second major change right there. There's two walls. You Basically what you want to do is pick whichever wall you're going to, kill that wall first, and then that gives you room to deal with the second wall that, that's coming in. That's all you have to do. It's, it's not really much different from the way you would have played the heroic version, which is just nuking down one wall. You just have to do it twice now. And that's the rest of the fight. You rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat, and he's going to spawn more Flame Rifts. Here comes the extra Captain add. He needs to be kicked, the Pyroblast. I think I get it here again. There we go. Honestly, as the, if you're playing like Resto Shaman or something, you can get it. And then the Dispels are coming out right now. You can see Leaping Flames. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's eight of them that time. But they're all gone anyway. So did, we didn't even need the Master Spell. I shouldn't have even called for it because the healers were on top of it, which was good. So there we go. Next set of Flame Rifts here, and uh, we'll get another Captain. It's just Rinse and Repeat. I don't even think we get to a second phase where he does the uh, the walls. But you have to be really careful when you're walking through the fire. Don't walk through the flames too much. They do so much damage. Of course, the entire fight, we're getting a stacking buff every time he does that big eruption. You can see everybody has like a three next to their raid frame right now. So that means you've got the stacking three uh, debuff. And that's the rest of the fight, guys. Not too crazy. It's a great fight. I love this fight on Mythic. On Heroic, it's like so boring. On Mythic, there's actually something to do. There's a lot that you have to do here. And I think it's fantastic. So, oh, I guess we do get the second right wall. Get the spells, but I, I love this fight on Mythic. I think it's really tough. Not tough. It, it's not really that tough. But it's still, it's great. There's a lot of pressure on you. We got to kill this wall. This gets really close, I think. The other walls get uh, very close to us. Look at how close we are <laughs> to that second wall. That's pretty cool. Like, I think that's great. It's, it's very well designed. And anyway, we get the second add down, and we end up killing Aranog. Of course, we did have a couple people die. I think just to unfortunate fire placements and whatnot. But we do end up killing Aranog right here at the very end. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. If you haven't killed Mythic Aeronog yet, I would really encourage you to do it. The fight is not that much harder. It's not that different. I know we had a bunch of people die here. This was like our first time trying it, but it's not actually that difficult to get this sucker down. And it just requires the dispels from healers, the kicks on the big ad, and then nuke down both of those walls. And you're good to go. Those are the only differences. And really, it has amazing loot, especially that fire ring if you get lucky and you get it. We didn't get it here, of course, unfortunately, so... But that's it, guys, for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying your time in uh, in WoW right now. I hope you're doing some Mythic raiding. Get in there and kill these bosses. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.